everyone, Lauren Weyerman here, creator of Wildflowers Nails. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make the Triketra Celtic Knot, or the Trinity Knot, on a nail. You can follow along with me today if you'd like. Here's what you'll need. The Wildflowers Matte Top Coat, the Wildflowers White Pop-Up Gel, and Wildflowers Black Pop-Up Gel, some of the glass gels, and the Wildflowers Magenta Brush. I like to begin on a matte nail, so use the Wildflowers Matte Top Coat to matte out your black nail. Next, I'm gonna use a little bit of black gel polish, and I'm actually going to give myself a guide for this Trinity Knot. Uh, it begins with a circle, and of course, I want it off-centered. I don't want it to be smack in the middle of the nail, so I'm gonna draw my circle. And then it has three points like a triangle. One here, one here, and the other one is invisible because it's off the side of the nail. My recommendation to you is that you learn how to draw this on paper first with a pen and paper or probably a pencil and paper and an eraser um, until you get the hang of it. It doesn't take long. It's actually pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Cure that, and now we'll mix some of the white pop-up gel with some of the metallic top coat. This is going to change the viscosity and make it a little bit see-through. We want to work with a white that is the, the right viscosity for what we're doing. It needs to go on easily and it needs to be a little bit see-through. And I'm just gonna trace over what I already drew. This is my time to fix any little mistakes that I may have made. And I'm making this a little bit thick. I don't want it too thin. Continue along tracing your original outline and then we're going to cure. After curing the nail, I am going to take a little bit of my white and mix it with some of the black pop-up gel. And now we have to determine which ones are on top and which ones are on bottom. This can be a little tricky, but there's a pattern to it. If you follow along one of the paths, it goes over and then under over and then under. So anytime my line's going under, I paint white, nice and bright, going over that section. When the line is going over, I paint the white right onto my line to make it look like it's popping out towards me. So this one I'm gonna make going over. So I put my bright white on that intersection and just feather it out from there. Here's another one where the line is going over. But if you follow the path of one of the lines, you'll notice it's over, under, over, under, over, under. Again, you may wanna get a picture of the Trinity Knot to use as a reference guide for this part in case you get confused. If you get confused and screw this part up, it ain't gonna look right. So make sure you understand what you're doing as far as what's going over and what's going under. If you look closely here, you'll notice I took the black pop-up gel and helped shadow in a few places. Now on to the glass gel. This is where we get to color our knot. So I'm going to make a little bit of a slip ombre using the green and yellow glass gel so that it's truly Celtic. And now it's all downhill from here. We're going to cure this and then put the metallic top coat over top and give it a final cure. I love this. It's very unique and I do hope you'll try it. All the products used in this video are available at wildflowersnails.com. We have eight completely hands-on nail art classes that we are taking across the country for nail professionals in 2018, and I hope that you'll join us as part of the Master Artist Series. You can sign up for our classes at wildflowersnails.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.